Well, hello, my friend. Welcome back to another episode of the Chaos to Peace podcast, where I talk about how clutter is so much more than you think. Thank you so much for allowing me back into your ears. I'm your host, Connie Graf, and today's episode is inspired by the new moon in Leo and a book I read in July. As you know, on New Moon, I set my intentions for the upcoming month and the new moon yesterday, Sunday, August 4th in Leo, was about leadership. Being courageous, generous, passionate, proud, creative, playful, to have fun, to put yourself first, to put yourself out there and to show up for yourself. That's part one. And then the second part that inspired this topic or this episode is the book I read. And it, the book I read last month was called Over Deliver by Brian Kurtz. And while the book is about direct response marketing, and to be honest, I didn't finish it reading it just yet, as it's often too advanced to where I am at in my business. A simple paragraph or it was not even a chapter it was just a part of a chapter in his book way at the beginning that really spoke to me and it actually shook me and shifted my perspective that doesn't happen that often and what I'm talking about is his concept of the power of 100 to zero Brian Court says give 100% in every relationship no matter what comes back. For many reasons, I find this fits so well with the new moon. But for one, it is about becoming a leader, being courageous, but also being generous. To just shine and don't expect anything in return. Basically shine like the sun. Be like nature. Be generous. Give. Radiate. Send goodness out no matter what. Of course, that's often not what we do. We often do expect something back. We are not like the sun, just shining, not expecting anything in return. We are having a mindset of we want something back. I sure did. <laughs> I sure still do, probably. But this is about to change. In the book, Brian Kurtz says... Customers might not be knocking down your door, but when you make the effort to reach out with no reservation or ulterior <laughs> motives, you'll get great results because they value hearing from you. You can let the imbalance annoy you, own you, or make you quit, or you can accept it as a reality and make the most of it. <laughs> and that part about letting the imbalance annoy me or annoy you, own you and make you quit. Well, that's where I often was, often also with this podcast. It's annoying sometimes. It's a very passionate project. It takes a lot of time and effort to create. And sometimes I really feel like there is nothing coming back or at least not much. But his perspective of always giving 100%, no matter what. Like I said, that really spoke to me, but it also shook me because I realized I do expect something back. And I don't like that part about myself. So Brian goes on in his book, I quote, give 100% of your effort in all your relationships, personally, professionally, with friends and family, with colleagues and with your audience and customers, even when it seems like the other party is making no effort at all. The best result in any relationship comes from consistent, generous effort that demands nothing in return. It takes away so much stress. You give 100% of your effort at all times, even if the other side is giving nothing. All that stress of keeping score, of tracking how much they gave you compared to what you gave them, it's just not worth it. I encourage you to let it go. It's just wasted energy. When you bring 100% to any relationship, the payoff of having these people on board is almost always worth the extra effort. Do you hear that? You may want to rewind and re-listen to what he really says here. This is really deep. And it goes again so well with 
the intention for the Leo season of being passionate, generous, show up, show up for yourself, show up for the others, shine. But also with clearing clutter, right? Because he does say here that keeping score, the stress of tracking how much they gave you compared to what you gave them, that it's not worth it, and that he encourages us to let it go. Yes, so let's this declutter this mental clutter that creates emotional clutter. It's literally just wasted energy. He is so right in that. He also says in, in that part of the book, earlier in my life, I wondered why it always had to be me that made the extra effort to keep in touch and why they weren't as motivated to maintain the relationship. But I learned that my disappointment was wasted energy. It wasn't that they didn't love me. They just didn't have it in them to work that hard with everything else going on in their life. But when we did connect, it was always a blast. These were lifelong deep connections. So eventually I accepted that I would be the one to be much more proactive about keeping these relationships meaningful. End of quote. And this is also where he really got me, where he hit that nerve. That's exactly how I felt all my life. It seemed that it always had to be me that reached out to people. I did expect my relationships to be a perfect give and take. Not only so I felt I was valued and my efforts were appreciated, but also because I felt it, if it's only me reaching out, that means they don't want to hear from me and I'm bothering them and I am a burden. And as a long time listener to my podcast, you know, again, this is negative thinking and the limiting beliefs. This is that gremlin in our head. And mental clutter creates emotional clutter and therefore a lot of suffering. And it's really not worth it. And still, we always fall into this trap again. Brian goes on to say, it's easy to feel hurt or to take it personally when you are making a disappropriate effort. But when you bring 100% to any relationship, the payoff of having those people on board is almost always worth the extra effort. If I had expected all my relationships to be a perfect give and take, if I had waited for these guys, and he talks here about his best friends, to meet me halfway, I would have missed out on years of friendship with some of the most important people in my life. End of quote. And this one really stinks because I can see where I have missed out on friendships because of this tit for tat approach of mine. Me feeling I'm bothering them. Me feeling that they needed to bring 50% to the relationship. Me feeling like they had to reach out for a change, not always me. I felt resentful so often. And because of this mental and emotional clutter, I have given up on some friendships out of self-centeredness, pride and stubbornness, stubbornly clinging to the concept that it had to be a perfect give and take, 50-50 in the relationship. So now <laughs> to make this even more interesting is, the word I had picked for 2024 back at the winter solstice 2023, so in December 2023, the word for 2024 that I picked is connection. I wanted to be and feel more connected in 2024. I wanted to create more connections in 2024. But these first seven months, I wasn't really that successful at it. And I think I know now why. I think it has to do with me not looking at it as giving 100% to the other party, no matter what comes back. So this new moon in Leo, I set the intention to from now on give 100% in every relationship, personally, professionally, with friends and with family, with colleagues and with my audience. That is you, my friend and listener, and with my customers. This intention requires for me to be courageous for reaching out over and over. Be generous. No matter what comes back, I stay open and I reach out again. It requires for me to be passionate. 
passionate about keeping those relationships alive or passionate to build these relationships in the first place. It requires from me to be playful and have fun with it instead of making it hard and a tit-for-tat game full of resentment. It also requires me to put myself out there to show up for me and for the relationship. It requires me to declutter my thinking. It requires me to let go of the thoughts. I'm bothering them. Until they tell me so, this is just sabotaging myself. I also have to let go of pride. Being too proud to be the one reaching out over and over. I have to let go of stubbornness, thinking it needs to be 50-50, tit for tat, when it really only needs to be 100 to zero, just as Brian says. I have to let go of self-centeredness, thinking I am bothering them or it's always me, when I don't know what's going on in their life and why they might not have the energy to reach out to me. And Before I end this episode, (laughs) and I don't want to make it all about me, you might not have that struggle at all. You might be like Brian and have realized already from the beginning that it is 100 to zero to always give 100% in any relationship, no matter what. Well, then, my friend, chapeau. So if that's the case, here are some questions that you can ask yourself to set your own intentions on this new moon in Leo. Where do you need more courage? In what situation do you want to be brave? How can you take a more playful approach to clear clutter and get organized? What brings you pure joy? How can you bring more of it into your life? Where are you the most creative and how can you bring more of that in your life? How can you live more from the heart? Because Leo is also about the heart. Ask yourself about letting go. In what ways might pride be hindering you? Where might you be stubborn and sabotaging yourself? And in what ways are negative thinking and limiting beliefs hindering you? Here are also some sample intentions to inspire you. I have fun when I let my heart lead. I practice open-heartedness and courage. I am generous in everything I do and with everyone I interact. I shine and am myself with everyone and in all situations with no apologies. I inspire and let myself be inspired by others. I create the opportunity to help someone else shine. And the most important intention and question where can i bring more light to humanity and more peace to the world we sure could use more peace in the world okay my friend that's it for today thank you for joining me and for listening all the way to the end i am connie graf your host and until next time take good care stay clutter free organized and at peace <laughs>